welcome to the Red River Valley of North Dakota. A land flowing with milk and honey. You're watching Beat Farm and Mitch. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. It is another beautiful day in the Red River Valley. And today we're doing my favorite job on the farm, which is row cultivating. So I'm heading over to a pinto bean field right now. Uh, we're gonna unfold this thing. I'll get a time lapse of that. We gotta drop the shields down. My uncle Ernie's gonna meet me there. And the shields are kind of what protects the young plants. We had them up because we were using this in sugar beets just a little bit in places. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. through the clouds we're out in the row cultivator cultivating some pinto beans and so I am excited this is my favorite job on the farm and you know it's the time of year in combination with just the row crop and just like working the soil a little bit I just love it I want to make sure I'm lined up in my rows here because if I'm not we'll have a little thing called cultivator blight I don't know if you've ever heard of that but we don't like cultivator blight, so if you're curious what that is, it's when you slip off the row and you cultivate a bunch out. Ooh, and you can see I got a new hat, growing something sweet. Well, I got that from the Sugar Association, so thank you for the merch. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, they're a great Instagram page to follow. It's really fun. They got to share a lot of fun facts about sugar beets and sugar and whatnot. So if you are into that, well, by golly, check them out. A big reason that we're out here cultivating right now is for weed control. That's a, that's a large reason. That's not the only reason. But that is a big reason. Um, we can generally have some more weed trouble with our pinto and navy beans just because the herbicide technology isn't quite there. And there's a lot behind that. But big reason is for weed control and kind of help open up the ground a little bit and whatnot so that is what we're doing I've seen you know this field isn't too bad there's a little bit of volunteer wheat here but there's some fields that have a lot of wild mustard and kochia and whatnot and we always um, if you check back when we planted our navy and pinto beans I've got some videos on that I explained how we put down a pre-plant incorporated herbicide and so we've got that weed barrier here, but things still tend to come up through that. Um, and so we still have to kind of continually stay on top of weed control. So yeah, doing a little row cultivating. I mean, I'm just happy as a clam. I can't help but smile when I'm in this thing. I suppose we could unleash the flow for a little bit. During the end of the day, I like to let the, let the salad fly loose. Well, let's take a little tour of the cab here and see what we got going on. So we're in the Case Magnum 225 CVT. This tractor is phenomenal for this job. It's like quiet in here. Like, it's like pretty much silent. I mean, there's a little hum, but it's just really quiet for being in a tractor. So I really like that. I can really hear what's going on. Uh, we're running at like 1550 RPMs with like 5.5, 5.4 miles an hour. Um, the reason I can go so low is just I can set my RPMs and it just, you know, it pulls this thing no problem and it's nice and quiet and there's no squealing so that's always good um, kind of hard to see the auto steer with the sunlight on it there we go um, so yes and here is the famed row cultivator so this is a Wilrich again 24 rows that's kind of typically our standard for larger sized equipment um, on the 22 inch row spacing and so yeah, you can see the pinto bean rows there and you can see how it's kind of dark in between them. It's just so satisfying. Beautiful clouds today too, actually. You can see the sun there and yeah, this is what I can see. There's lots of glass on this tractor so I can really see what's going on all over the place. But most of the time, as in like 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm looking down here at this thing to make sure I'm in between the rows. Because if I go off the rows just even for a second, it'll just rip out not just that row, 
but all 24 rows. So really gotta be on top of my game, paying attention, eyes like a hawk. That's what I do. Alrighty, it's a new day, another beautiful day outside, and I'm just pulling in to one of my favorite fields. This one's just got some nice shelter belts, and it's just very unique. Um, it's kind of fun, and right now I'm trekking through a small clearing through some trees to make it to the field. We wind it out a little bit last fall because otherwise I wouldn't be able to be doing this. So it's pretty handy to be able to fit through here. Um, but it's only about wide enough for this thing. You can kind of see both sides of the trees there. So that's kind of fun. All right, so we're gonna unfold this thing. It's a little bit of a process, but it's not too bad. So first thing I do, I make sure it is up all the way. I like to usually have a little bit of slack on it for on the road. And then I hit this number three lever forward and that will unfold the machine. All right, now we gotta go and hit a secret lever that changes the hydraulic flow to lift these outside tires off. Here is that secret lever. Next, you gotta get your handy dandy inch and a half wrench and there's these little things that you flip up. You tighten these guys on there. And you tighten her down with the wrench. Make sure they're good and snug. Now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. And last but not least, there's some safety blocks under these things. You also use them to fold up. So you gotta pull these out. They're just on the hydraulic cylinder there. All right, there you go. Now we're ready to rock. And we're rolling again. Well, I actually had a cultivator shank snap, so I had to repair that for over the last hour or so. It is 1.18 p.m. and it's time for lunch. Yes, I made it this far, apparently. Um, today, I have a special. I've got a everything grinder from the Red Pepper. Yummy. like taco meat, some different cheeses, some sauce, salami, ham, turkey, lettuce. You want a bite? And again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you like the videos and you don't want to miss when I release them, which I release every Thursday at 5, that's kind of what I'm rolling with right now, um, be sure to subscribe because then you can get a notification and stay in the loop on what's going on on old beet farm and Mitch's family farm, I guess. So if you like that, awesome. Also, if you like it, 
the video, chuck the old thumbs up up there. I appreciate that too. So thank you to all of you for watching and don't forget to keep it sweet.